Well, dear students, the topic that you are going to study as a topic 8 in differentiation topic is Rolle's theorem. What is this Rolle's theorem? See, when you take a function y is equal to f of x, what ha happens? You try to draw the curve of this particular function. Say, for example, this is how the curve has become. Now, this is there is no breakage in this particular function. That means this function is absolutely continuous. Okay. Now, second thing is that this function can have derivative. That means you can draw tangent at every point of this particular curve. See here, this is how I have I am constructing the tangents to the curve. Now, what happens when I am constructing the uh, tangents to all these curves? The slope of each tangent, the slope of uh, uh, slope of each tangent that we have drawn to the curve y is equal to f of x, say speaks what f of x is differentiable. It is differentiable. Now, interestingly, of all the tangents that are drawn, exactly there is a, a tangent that you can see here that which I have drawn absolutely parallel to the x axis. Now, this is the tangent if I consider the one which I require to discuss about the topic of Rolle's theorem. The Rolle's, the mathematician has observed that if there is a curve which is continuous and has the probability, I mean has the possibility to construct tangents as many tangents as the number of points available on the curve then it is called differentiable. That means, if a function is continuous and differentiable in a specific interval called a comma b wherein it is constructed that is a comma b the closed interval, he says that you can find out a tangent as well which is having a specific character that the tangent is parallel to the O x axis. That means, here this is the observation he has made. Interestingly, if I take the same graphical unit once again here with a specific intention of showing you the tangent that is parallel to the x axis, what exactly do you find here? The point where the tangent drawn is parallel to the x axis has one typical character of the function. What is that? From here the function is going continuously upward at this point onwards the function is likely to decrease. That means this particular point it is like you are driving a vehicle at a higher speed all of a sudden you are finding a hairpin bend. When you are finding the hairpin bend you apply for a small moment you apply the brake. Though the vehicle does not come to the rest that means having applied the brake it is an indication that the direction of the vehicle is likely to change. So, here this is the point which indicates very clearly that that this particular point is going to decide the direction onward direction of the curve y is equal to f of x. So, at the point where the function is likely to take a turn towards downward or upward, it can go upward or downward, I am not concerned with that. My concern is that if I draw a tangent at that particular point, the curve after that point shall have invariably a change in the downward direction or upward direction. So, supposing that it has a downward direction, what, what do you say? So you can say that sir in the interval a comma a to b for which you have constructed the graph, what is happening from a to c the curve has gone in the higher I mean increasing order which you can say f dash x is greater than 0. What is, what is exactly f dash x greater than 0 also I will explain you. Now, it is increasing after this it stops for a while and starts decreasing down where you can say f dash x is less than 0. Why, why it is called less than 0 and greater than 0? Now, let us look at this perspective very clearly that if I take a tangent here the tangent if you produce the angle that it is making with the x axis here the tangent that is making the angle with the x axis is always acute that is phi xi or always less than 90 degrees whereas after this particular point c whatever the tangents that you draw they all make in the anti clockwise direction some angles called theta which is 90 greater than and less than 180 that means they are all obtuse angles obtuse angles the angle in the anti clockwise direction the tan this is the 
a derivative. Derivative of a function is defined as slope of the tangent. Slope is what? Slope of the tangent. What is the meaning of slope? Tan theta. Tan theta is greater than 0 for every theta less than 90. If tan theta is falling in the zone of, sorry, theta is zone, falling in the zone of 90 and 180, then tan theta is falling in the second quadrant of the uh, trigonometric uh, aspect that the second quadrant is between 90 and 180. Here in this zone, tan theta is always negative. Tan theta is negative means slope of the tangent is negative. Slope of the tangent is negative means derivative of the function is negative. That means as you move upward direction, the derivative of the function is increasing and after this point, it is decreasing. That means at this particular point, the derivative of the function has to become zero. Therefore, what Rolls has said very clearly that of all the tangents that are drawn to a curve for which is continuous and differentiable, there is a particular tangent which is definitely going to be parallel to the x-axis. So, he claimed that this is his theorem, so it is named after him as Rolle's theorem. So, what exactly the Rolle's theorem says, the statement I will give you now for a while. The Rolle's theorem says, number one, f of x is continuous. It should be a continuous function in the op closed interval a comma b and second one it should have tangent at every point that means it the function is differentiable in open interval a comma b apart from that he said that if the third and final condition if should be a f of a should be equal to f of b that means both should be terminating exactly in such a manner that they are parallel to the x axis so f of e is equal to f of b then if these three conditions are satisfied for any function given y is equal to f of x, then there exists uh, some c belongs to the interval a comma b such that f dash c is equal to 0. That means derivative, the meaning is that derivative of the function is at x is equal to c belongs to a comma b is equal to 0. What is the meaning of derivative of a function? I am talking slope of the tangent, slope of tangent at c is equal to 0. Slope of a line, please remember the rule that slope of a line, maybe it is a tangent, is equal to 0 implies line is parallel to x-axis. So, this is the exact conclusion Mr. Rolls has made in through his theorem. Well, I will be taking a problem for you to make understand Rolls theorem. Say for example, f of x is equal to 4, uh, sorry, x square plus 2x minus 8 in the interval minus 4 comma 2. Supposing that I am supposed to verify Rolls theorem. Now, Rolle's theorem is having three important statements. That is, one is f of x is continuous at, at a comma, sorry, in a comma b, the closed interval given. Now, in this present case, the function f of x is x square plus 2x minus 8. Whether it is continuous curve or not, you can verify easily that in the interval, uh, it is continuous. I would explain how it is continuous in the interval minus 4 comma 2. Dear children, you take any point from minus 4 comma 2 and substitute here, you will never get a value which is meaningless. That means you will find all numericals which are finite in value and plottable on the graph paper. So therefore, in this interval, the polynomial curve is continuous. So second condition is, it is supposing that you find out f dash x. f dash x is d by dx of x square plus 2x minus 8, resulting it is 2x plus 2, clearly 2x plus 2 is a linear polynomial, a linear 
polynomial in one variable. A linear polynomial means what? It is a straight line parallel to y axis or x axis whatever it is. Now it is y is equal to supposing that if it is a two variable actually if you consider it is y dash y dash is a dependent variable it is going to be two variable pro, pro, uh, linear equation. So linear equation is a straight line. Straight line is absolutely existing. This particular value will definitely exist in minus 4 comma 2. That means it exists in the open interval 4 minus 4 comma 2. The third one is f of a. What is f of a? f of minus 4. f of minus 4 you substitute in the function it is going to be 16 minus 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. f of b is f of 2 that is 4 plus 4 minus 8 it is again 0. Therefore, f of a is equal to f of b that means Rolle's theorem shall have three conditions to be proved. All the three conditions I have proved as a result of that I can say Rolle's theorem Rolle's theorem is applicable now, is applicable. That means if it is applicable, then what is the conclusion? Then there exists some C belongs to minus 4 comma 2 open interval such that f dash C is equal to 0. What is f dash x here? f dash x is 2x plus 2. If f dash C I want, x will be replaced by C that is 2c plus 2 is equal to 0 then 2c is equal to minus 2 c is equal to minus 2 upon 2 is equal to minus 1 c is equal to minus 1 belongs to the open the open interval minus 4 comma 2 because the point which i have got at this particular point if you happen to draw the curve it is an imaginary curve i'm showing you this is how you will find say for example it is minus 4 and it is going to 2 now at exactly at minus 1 you will find a tangent parallel to x axis this is what exactly rolle's theorem is explaining thank you dear children now we are coming to the last and final topic that is Lagrange's mean value theorem that is also called in a very smart form LMV theorem or also called mean value theorem. Please remember this is the actual theorem which is based for the rules but we have already learned rules now we will be learning Lagrange's what is the specialty of Lagrange's uh, and what is the difference between rules and Lagrange's you will understand. Look at this particular curve there is a function called y is equal to f of x and it is drawn for the interval closed interval comma a, a, a comma b. Now since the curve has no breaks at all between a and b, I could consider that it is definitely a continuous curve. So a continuous curve is f of x in the closed interval a comma b. Now let me see when the function is absolutely continuous without any problem that means I am able to draw curves I mean tangents at every point as I have already shown you in the previous part of Rolle's theorem. Similarly, if I draw the tangents at every point now the question of Lagrange's came into picture that can we have a tangent exactly at a particular point where when the tangent is drawn that is parallel to a chord joining p comma q what is p points a comma f a and q b comma f b now that means it is our duty to the find out now that tangent is parallel to the this one whether it satisfies Lagrange's or not we have to verify now here what happens basically why he wants to verify that after having found a tangent parallel to a chord then only he decided the condition f of a is equal to f of b for the Rolle's theorem but that particular condition is not required as far as Lagrange's is concerned. Now can you identify what is the difference between why this particular clause which we have already learnt in Rolle's theorem f of a is equal to f of b not required in Lagrange's mean value theorem? I would tell you the main reason for this f of a is equal to f of b is not required because it is actually the Rolle's theorem is terminating to have a chord in such a way that is parallel to the x axis. In the case of that when you draw a tangent parallel to the x axis it shall be passing through a point called c where f dash c is equal to 0. Since 
the uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem is not insisting upon the slope becoming zero. The particular clause of f of a is equal to f of b is not required at all. So what he did, he took a chord joining a b and q for which he wanted to find out a tangent of that curve which is said to be continuous as well as differentiable. Can we have a tangent which is parallel to the chord? Of course it has. That's why Lagrange's mean value theorem came into picture. Now, let us understand Lagrange's mean value theorem rules. First one is, the first condition is that it should be continuous curve in the interval a comma b closed and it should be differentiable. What is the meaning of differentiable in a comma b open interval is a very simple to understand. It is differentiable in the sense you should be able to draw tangents at every point. You might as well think my dear children why what is the connectivity between differentiability and the tangent because we know that derivative of a function f of x is the slope of tangent drawn or slope of a line. If I say slope of a line tangent being a ta slow uh, the tangent being a straight line it will when produced to x axis uh, it is going to cut some angle there that's why the tangent this derivative of a f of x according to geometric mean it is tangent slope of the tangent that is it is dy by dx if this slope if tangent exists then slope exists if slope exists then dy by dx exists that means the function f of x is differentiable if it is continuous and differentiable then what the final conclusion says then there exist some C belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash C is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a the formula which I have written on the right side is the slope of the chord we know that slope of a straight line is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So here y2 is this, y1 is this, x2 is this, x1 is this. Therefore, I have taken using this formula, I have got this. If I succeed in proving this particular condition that I am proving Lagrange's mean value theorem. Well, this is the last problem I would be presenting for. This is a function given f of x is equal to this in this interval. And he wants to verify the, he wants us to verify the LMV theorem. Now, first of all, what is the first condition for the LMV theorem? The function given supposed to be the inf continuous function in this interval. Yes, absolutely it is continuous because at no point of 1 comma 4 inter closed interval, this function would ever become infinity or any meaningless value. Therefore, it exists. Now, you find out the derivative of this function, you got 2x minus 4, this exists in the inter open interval 1 comma 4. Nowhere this value would ever become infinity or something non-existing value, therefore it exists. So, the function f of x is continuous as well as differentiable, therefore then what do you get? There exist c belongs to 1 comma 4 such that such that f dash c is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a.